What up, y'all? It's your boy, Captain Mustachio, here for another exciting episode of Myths and Mustaches, an exciting pirate audiobook podcast starring me and my wonderful band of misfits as we scourge the sea in search of treasure and adventure. But as always, the Stash Man is here to dish out some of that good pirate knowledge to all you dummies out there. We have a question from a young lass named Kara, and Kara asks, was Blackbeard the most famous pirate of all time? <laughs> uh, quick answer for you, Kara. Uh, no. No. The most famous is obviously me. Duh. Look, okay. Blackbeard was some B-list pirate who got all famous because he had weird antics when he attacked ships. For example, Blackbeard had this thing where he would tie hemp wicks in his beard and light them on fire before he attacked, so it looked like his beard was ablaze when he was fighting sailors. So basically the dude put candles on his face as a magic trick. Big whoop. You know what? I bet they were lavender scented too. <laughs> uh, but like I said, the dude's a poser. You wanna know how real pirate fights, huh, Blackbeard? Before every battle, I douse my entire head in whale oil, and I light my face on fire. That's how a real pirate fights. My body is 60% covered in third degree burns. And guess what? My mustache grows back the next day, every single time. So take that, Blackbeard, thinking you're all cool because your beard is black. Ooh, look at me, I'm all elitist because my beard color. I mean, I, okay, 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 hold on, hold on. I didn't mean it like that, okay? I just wanna say this. I don't have anything against people with black beards, okay? Like, like I have friends with black beards, all right? And, and they're okay with, with me talking about this. I just, I, I think that, you know, we're, we're all equal, you know? Like, like all beards matter. Or, 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 or really just all facial hair in general. Like, especially mustaches, you know? You know? <sighs> I'm gonna get canceled on my second show, aren't I? Chapter 2. Getting Dem Honeys The ship was beautiful. Carved oak and golden panels lined the hull of the SS Kiatanya. A dazzling ruby-red mermaid embraced the tip of the bow, and the ivory-tinted sails glistened in the light of the moon. On deck, one of the soldiers peered out to the south with his spyglass and came upon a terrifying sight. Pirate, sir! It's the mustachioed skull and crossbones! They're coming in fast, shouted one of the soldiers. A man in blue uniform stood near the port side, cleaning the dust of the air off of his monocle with his handkerchief. He was decorated with medals and insignias, as well as official military weaponry on his side. He was clean shaven. What a douche. Ready the cannons, Corporal. This sniveling pirate scum will know the true ferocity of the Portuguese naval army, dear. We must deliver Her Majesty without delay, commanded the baby-faced man who was smiling smugly. Yes, Captain Murray, sir, said the corporal with a salute. Ready the cannons, men. Though loyal to Captain Eric, he couldn't help but notice the fear on his men's faces. He knew their thoughts. He knew what that flag meant, and he also knew the man who was coming to face him. Is everything ready, Rick? said Captain Mustachio. Yes, Captain, answered Pirate Rick, finishing readying a cannon. 
Captain Mustachio's mustache curled upward as he said, Fire. Guns blazed. Cannon shot. The men yelled curses, Portuguese racial profanity, and lewd suggestions about the soldiers' mothers. The smoke from the cannon fire encased both ships in a thick veil of war. The captain shot an anchored rope from a rifle into the sails of the SS Kietanya. It latched onto the main deck and locked into place. Captain Mustachio took his sword and held it over the rope above his head. Is anyone else just like really excited to go commit murder? Like, I am just giddy right now. Carlos, you know what I'm talking about, you little bloodthirsty monster. The pirate named Carlos smiled and nodded sheepishly as Captain Mustachio pointed at him, and the other pirates shoved Carlos playfully. God, it really is just the best. Like, almost as good as being with a woman, you know? Like, top five for me, really. Anyway, what do you say we go have some fun killing these guys, huh? Shouted Captain Mustachio to his crew. He lifted his feet and slid down the rope, across the water and onto the deck of Captain Eric's ship. The pirates cheered in delight and soon threw their own ropes across and began their assault on the soldiers. Captain Mustachio was a gruesome sight. He was like a wild animal the way he attacked them. He hollered berating insults in Espanol and sliced up anyone who stood in his way like they were delicious strips of beef for carne asada. One soldier wet himself, took his pants off, put new ones on, and proceeded to wet himself again just from looking upon his mustache. Oh, yeah, he's not human screamed one soldier. He's a mustachioed god of the ocean, screamed another. Hey guys, I'm serious when I say this. After seeing his mustache, well, I think I might be gay. I mean, I was sexually confused when I was a kid, but I think this really confirms it, screamed yet another. Soldiers fell left and right. Not one pirate had yet to be cut by any blade. Soon it was down to just a handful of men and Captain Eric. You're all trash. Nothing but vile worms that I shall crush under my boot, said Captain Eric defiantly. He don't even got a mustache, Captain. What a tool. The crew all threw their heads back and laughed. Captain Mustachio stepped forward ahead of the crew and held out his sword without uttering a word. Well, well, well. If it isn't the mustachioed bandit, let me tell you who I am. Captain Eric Marie Cockburn, commander of the 1st Division of His Majesty's Naval Amyadia. The mustacheless man beat his chest proudly. <laughs> Cockburn. Might as well name your kid Herpes at this point. All right. Right? Laughed Rick. Shut up, Rick. Captain Cockburn continued. I am a hero. A man of Yonia. I will not stand for such uncouth measures of depravity. I challenge you to a duel, good sir. But here is my wager. If you win... The ship is yours, and my men will yield. If I win, your mangy mutts must leave with their filthy tails between their legs, like the dogs that they are. What say you, Critton? Captain Mustachio stroked his mustache gently with his hook hand. He looked Captain Eric up and down, and said the coldest, most evil, Most chilling words Eric had ever heard in his life. I'm going to make you a eunuch. Mustachio danced around him, swinging his sword wildly like a crazed buffalo in heat. Captain Eric was both dazzled and terrified as he swung his sword weakly to defend himself. And then it happened. Without hesitation, Mustachio slashed his sword down with incredible might and speed. He had sliced Eric's dick clean off without even putting a hole in his pants. 
Now to the logical man. This defies most laws of physics. But do we care? Because it was awesome. Captain Eric immediately fell over dead. The men cheered loudly as the remaining soldiers from Eric's crew proceeded to throw themselves overboard. Captain Mustachio stood over Eric's lifeless body and stared coldly into the beyond. The crew became silent and watched for their captain's next words. Captain Mustachio held his hands out without mouthing a word. It was eerily silent. And then Mustachio snapped his fingers and started shimming his shoulders with a sexy victory dance. The crew cheered and soon everyone began shimmying and getting low. What's going on out here? Said a light, delicate voice. The door to the lower deck opened and there stood in the midst of vicious cutthroat pirates and scallywags was a beautiful woman in a white dress. Mustachio was speechless at the sight of the woman. He didn't know who she was, what she was doing here, or why she wasn't running in fear. But he did know one thing. He wanted that shoddy. Hey guys, thank you all so much for listening to Myths and Mustaches. My name is Logan, and I am the creator, author, editor, and voice actor for Myths and Mustaches. The intro and outro music for Myths and Mustaches was performed and recorded by the very talented Max Faith. If you loved it like I did, go check out more of his stuff at maxfaith.bandcamp.com. That's maxfaith.bandcamp.com. And if you liked what you heard from My Silly Stories and want to be a sponsor for my project, you can check out more of my stuff out on my Patreon at patreon.com slash mythsandmustaches. And if you're already a subscriber, then I just want to tell you that I love you. And uh, you're kind of my favorite. And I've sometimes thought about you romantically. And if you're not a subscriber, then well, I mean, I guess we can still be friends. Again, thank you guys so much for listening and subscribing, and stay tuned for more piratey nonsense in the upcoming weeks. Sound effects for this chapter were provided by Music for Video, Audio Hero, and Zapsplat. All these creators and their content can be found at www.zapsplat.com.